I gotta move the cursor again. This color viewfinder is really nice. Here's the Betamax listing. This is what it looks like. And now I have a double rainbow line going across the page here. I may change this. If I can figure out how to import stuff from Microsoft Word, um, I want to do a thing saying the Betamax listing with uh, like a 3D perspective trail on it. Uh, kind of like I did with my uh, my letterhead. So this is all this thing is going to be a list of all the Betamaxes that were ever out. Going by year, which is in large blue type. Model number, which is in bold. Suggested retail price, and then comments about the machine. It's just a, a list for reference, and it's actually a lot more intense to do than I thought because it takes a, taking a lot of research. Uh, some of the things I have, the dates are wrong, the years are wrong, and um, what can I say? It's just a lot of work, but I, I'm enjoying it, and it's something that a lot of people want. I think you had a an SL3000, the first portable Betamax recorded X2, played back X1 and X2. And here we go. This is something I got from someone else's web page. It's actually changing color. It's like a little red... Uh, let me see if I can crank this up a little bit. There's like a red arrow there. I can barely see it, maybe. Like a red like a red thing that keeps cycling. And, of course, this will take you back to the home page. We go to next. Now, just in case I manage to get this up on the web... Tonight or tomorrow. Actually, tonight's almost done. I'm, I'm tired. This is a little disclaimer saying this thing is still under construction. But uh, my brother's helping me out with this thing a lot. He's giving me a lot of hints. There's the email thing one more time. And I dated it today, September 30th. This is neat. This thing becomes a hand. And, of course, it's a mail to videoholic at juno.com. I, I still like to use Juno instead of Earthlink because it's just it's free, <laughs> obviously. Here, here's a neat thing. To edit this stuff, you just go to this edit icon, and this whole thing changes. The page is still here, but the whole top changes. Right over here, you can make the font bigger, smaller, bold, italic. You can make it uh, fixed width. There's all your color selection and all kind of other shit. Uh, you can do numbers, bullets, indent, uh, left justify, center, right justify. All kind of crap, which is really, really nice. Let me show you what I've scanned now. Let me uh, get off of this stuff. Let me show you what I've scanned with this, um, what the hell is it? With this scanner. This p picture publisher is nice. Graphics suite. I'm going to have a ball of Comdex this year. I'm so advanced in computers compared to... Just a year ago, I know so much more. I should have a good time. All right, we're going to look at C drive. Now, give me a second to type this in here. Revo.gif. I just found out that GIF is actually a CompuServe uh, name. I didn't know that. But according to this, it is. Now, you're going to see a copy of that thing that I just scanned in. There it is. <laughs> There's the page that I scanned in. Now, see this here? There was something else there that I blocked out. How did I... See, this is what the original looks like. With ba very bad lighting. Let me open the iris just a little bit here. The camera sometimes is very reddish. They had a thing with Mel Torme here, which I didn't want, so I just got rid of it. Kind of neat, huh? I just took... There's a little paintbrush here. And over here is your color palette. You open this up. Let me close this down a little bit. This has so many co great colors in here. This is all the colors that you can dip into and add all these different shades and hues. Matter of fact, I hate to tell you what I did, the same thing that you did on your TV guy cover. I dipped it in this green because I had like some black splotches. I dipped it in this green and I airbrushed it out. <laughs> Just like you did, Gary. Is that incredible or what? So this is like a shrunken down version. And the problem I'm having is I can't get it this size on my web page. It comes in as a real, real, real big area. I, I don't know why. So it's just a matter of playing with. I must have spent eight hours on this scanner today. <laughs> it's incredible. Uh, let me see what else I can open up here. I haven't even done this yet. Uh, let me go to my 
A drive. I have a beta logo in there that I want to insert, which is right there. Open that up. Now this I scanned in, believe it or not, from this Fuji tape box right here. I took that B, B logo from this Fuji tape box right there, and I just cropped out the beta word, and that's what I have left is the beta logo, which I'm going to try to insert somewhere on my web page. So that's the two things that I scanned so far. And what I didn't know is these things take a long, long time to scan. They really do. My God, it took like 15 minutes to scan in my uh, picture. But the nice thing is that you can, you can um, set up your own resolution. You can go with 300 DPI or 600 up to like, I think, like 14,000 or something. And uh, the longer, the higher the DPI, the resolution, the longer it takes to scan. It takes a long, long time to scan this stuff.